everyone, I am here with Shaza McKenzie. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. What is the best starter Pokemon and why? Oh my goodness, I um, didn't really ever get into like Pokemon Go or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go with a classic, I'm going to go with Pikachu, like can't... Can't go wrong with Pikachu, right? Pikachu technically isn't a oh, starter no, Pokemon, no, but Pokemon <laughs> do you know Bulbasaur? I think I've heard the name. I'm sorry, I know nothing about Pokemon. I'm really showing my age. We'll just count Pikachu. We'll, we'll count Pikachu. It's technically a starter Pokemon. Yeah, In fine. the Pokemon anime, Ash gets it as a starter Pokemon. See? It's fine. Exactly. That's what I... I watched Pokemon as a child when Ash first got his little little, little balls. So I was at the very start of the Pokemon uh, empire, but then I'm, I'm old now, so. Who are your top three favorite opponents? Ooh, of all time? It's actually, no, this is pretty easy. It's uh, Madison Eagles, Jessica Troy, and Charlie Evans. Uh, it's very easy. It's my three best friends, my three favorite people to wrestle, so it's always them. It's always those three. Yeah, wrestling your best friends must be a lot different than just wrestling any old people. Yeah, there's like a different level of like trust and like a different level of, I guess, um, like you like you always hit your friends the hardest. Um, it's just a different thing. Like, cause you, you if you're not friends with someone and you hit them very hard, uh, you don't know how they're gonna react. But if you're friends with someone and you hit them very hard, you know you're gonna get hit back. But you know you trust them, so it's a it's a different thing. How would you describe your wrestling style? This is a hard one. I would say I try to be quite technical when I can, um, but I think I'm adapt adaptable uh, to whatever my circumstance is. Like, even the last three days, I've had, um, I had like a crazy match with Sawyer Rec yesterday uh, where I went through a bunch of tape, a uh, bunch of chairs, and did some crazy bumps. And then today I had a very, uh, like, technical. Uh, hard-hitting match with Laney Luck, so it's like, it just depends on the day. I can do whatever, whatever is asked of me, whatever is given to the I can do comedy. You want comedy? I can do some comedy, too. We'll do what, I can do whatever is asked of me. Tell me a joke, then. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here's my favorite joke. Why did the Scarecrow win the Nobel Prize? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. It's good. It's a good one, hey? Yeah. I swear I have heard that joke from my dad before. It's great. It's a good joke. I'm, he should say it all the time. <laughs> what was your favorite match you wrestled and why? Uh, my favorite match that I ever wrestled was uh, that's like special to me. It's not that it was like the best match I've ever had, but it's my favorite match. Um, it was I wrestled Madison Eagles in 2017, I think it was, uh, at House of Hardcore in Sydney, Australia. Uh, and it was a big international tour, and there was not very many local names on it. And everyone that was at the show was there to see the Young Bucks and Tommy Dreamer and the Spirit Squad and all these, like, famous people. And no one had actually ever heard of us. Um, and by the time we wrestled, uh, and by the time we had our match, the crowd was, like, in our hat palms and, like, they were going crazy for us. And there's so many fans that I have now that will always, like, back home that will say, oh, yeah, I first saw you at this show. And so, therefore, that match is very, very special to me. Yeah, because having a show where you got most of your popularity, if not all of your popularity, must be really special to you. Exactly. It was very special. And it got a lot of compliments from all the, like, uh, veterans that were backstage that had never heard of us or never seen us wrestle before um, and who weren't really big on, like, women's wrestling in general um, and were like, you know, but that match was, like, something that they, like, resonated with. So, it, yeah, it's something I'm very proud of. What type of TV shows do you like to binge watch? Ooh, um, I love a good crime documentary. Big on crime documentaries and also big on like rom com -y, like comedy series. -es, series -es. Like the Mindy Project was the last thing I like binge watched, which was like, I think it was like seven seasons or something. And that's like a rom com comedy, 30 minute episodes. That you can just kind of blank out and watch. There are a couple of rom-com comedy shows I like. What what tons, ones do you like? Um, I like a show called Community, but it stops getting good after like season three. Oh. I've never actually watched Community. I like it's on my to-do list, 
Um, but I'll, I'll make a note to stop after season three. Stop uh, after Troy leaves. Okay, Troy leaves. We go, no. Who's tr is, is Troy jo jo Joel McHale's character? No. No? Okay. I don't know who Troy is, but okay. Stop when tro Troy leaves. No tr Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yes. Stop when he leaves. Another one that I liked that I liked was Superstore. I loved Superstore. I love that. I binge watched that recently too. I loved that. That was a great show. It was actually taking place in St. Louis. Oh, yeah, it was. Hey, yeah, no, I really enjoyed that show. That was a good one. What was your favorite place? What is your favorite place in the world to wrestle? Uh, probably Chicago. Probably Chicago crowds are always really good to me. Well, it's just down the road. It's not that far. It's just Midwest. Maybe I should have just said the Midwest. The Midwest. Midwest crowds are really good to me. They, um, they always seem to respond. They always seem to like or hate me, whatever it is that I want them to do um, on that particular night. Um, yeah, they're, like, I think the Midwest area is where I enjoy wrestling the most. Chicago and St. Louis are kind of rivals. Well, I like wrestling in St. Louis and I like wrestling in Chicago. Uh, to me, they're all kind of, I'm not going to say they're all the same. That's going to offend St. Louisans and Chicagoans. Uh, but like, they're very similar. They're very s close and similar. So I see them very similarly. Similarly. If you could become any animal, which one would you choose? Ooh. I think I would be, Ooh, this, this is a hard one. Um... Maybe I would be like a lion because, you know, king of the jungle. It seems like no one would mess with you and you'd just be able to eat and do whatever you want. I would be a house cat just we because went, house cats are so lazy. We went very different routes. I went, I, I want to dominate the world and you went, I just want to sleep. That's, I like that. <laughs> I get to sleep and eat food. It's the perfect thing for me. Okay, you, you've brought up a valid point. Maybe being a house cat should, should be the way I went. What did your parents say when you told them that you were going to be a wrestler? Um, I don't. Th I think they were like, "Oh yeah," like they were. They were very supportive and nice, or whatever. I just don't think that they thought I would actually do it. I thought they were. They think they were like, "Yeah, of course, you do. You do that. Like you go, you." Uh, and now we're like 15 years later, and they're like, "Oh, oh, like you, you really like this, huh? Um, it's you, you're gonna be the thing you do." <laughs> I think a lot of kids try and say they'll be wrestlers and then they forget about it once they grow up. Yeah, well I didn't start wrestling until I was, I didn't start watching wrestling until I was like an adult, so, uh, well not an adult, but a teenager, so they didn't think that I was going to become a wrestler. Like they thought it was just a phase, like I was a teenager, I was went through an Avril Lavigne phase and I went through a wrestling phase and they just thought that the wrestling phase was going to be the same as the Avril Lavigne phase and I was just going to get over it, I didn't. It's not just a phase. Exactly, I'm ve exactly, and it wasn't a phase. If you weren't in the pro wrestling business, what else do you think you would do? Um, I would do something with spreadsheets because Excel is a phenomenal uh, application by Microsoft, and I'm a big fan of it. Uh, and it, you, sh everyone, everyone should learn Excel spreadsheets because uh, you can just do lots of fun things. I feel like I'd be like an accountant or something. I really like problem solving with numbers. Um, I didn't like math like as a kid or anything, but as an adult, I really enjoy it. I, when I realized I could make like reports about my like wrestling earnings, oh, I got very excited and started making spreadsheets for wrestling earnings of weirdo. <laughs> hey, money, money is the most important thing in the world, so. It's not the most important thing in the world. People, the friends and people and your family, that's the most important thing in the world. Money is a construct or something. I don't know. Money money comes and goes. Experiences and the people in your life are forever. Well, some people think of money as the most important yes. thing. Some people definitely do. Uh, but I like to think that it's the, it's the people you meet in life that are the most important. How has the pandemic affected your career? Um, well, two years of it just kind of didn't happen. So I just kind of missed two years of my life. Um, because we were locked in our houses in Australia, which is fine. But it was also kind of like a nice little reset on my body. I'd been going wrestling nonstop for 13 years um, and I was kind of forced to take a break and recover a lot of injuries and stuff. And so now I feel like I'm physically 
together enough uh, more than I not like previously have been. So it's it stopped you wrestling, but in a sense, it all it was positive. Like, yeah, it gave me like a second second run. Like I didn't. I feel like I would have crashed and burned by now, but instead, I got to like reset and be like, okay, let's go again. Now that we're fresh and together and everything's good. That's the end. Thanks for the interview. Thank you.